warriors. I just got back late last night from a business trip to Boston. What was I talking about? What else? Lynn's warriors. Now as we're opening up in the country, I am going to be traveling and meeting with people and businesses and the public and describing the mission statement of Lynn's Warriors, which is ending human trafficking and sexual exploitation by raising awareness through the media and grassroots mobilization, education, advocacy, and policy. And that's a mouthful, but here's what it breaks down to. We must each in our own homes and communities take action. We are the warriors. Upon arriving home last night, I then received a text message very late at night that a beautiful young woman, 17 years old, was murdered, murdered by her pimps. She was well known. She was 17 years old. She was a youth advocate at a group in Washington, D.C., trying to help other girls and young women out of this lifestyle, share her expertise. She was a survivor. Well, at 13 years old, she was trafficked on Instagram. Instagram, owned by Facebook. Long story, short, I guess you could say, her traffickers, her pimps, caught up with her a couple of years later. She tried to escape. There is no escape from this lifestyle. That's why it's up to us. Not only can we work to help our vulnerable communities, but we must intervene and protect our children and all children, teens and young adults, all people, against this. It's twofold. Help the survivors and intervene and protect. Because I have to tell you, nobody else is doing anything. There's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of talk. I'm very hopeful. There's a, a lot of things percolating. We have the Earn It Act in Congress, and that stands for Eliminating Abusive and Rampant Neglect of Interactive Technologies Act of 2020. Basically, big tech accountability. They must step up. They must remove this CSAM, child sexual abuse material. It's not moving fast enough. We have every state working on this. But we, in the meantime, must become that warrior. When we know about 70% of our children, 70%, remember these are underreported crimes, under underreported discussions. Nobody likes to talk about all of this dark, overwhelming stuff, or they're embarrassed to talk about sex with their kids or the kids with the parents or trusted adults. But we must. When we hear 70%, it's probably higher. And COVID, COVID created much more vulnerabilities that we will be seeing for years to come. So what do we have to do? We have to protect our children, protect our families, protect in our own homes and communities. Your first step, let me give you some easy steps. That's what Lynn's Warriors is all about. First, you will go to lynnswarriors.org, the website, and read all about this and find out what you can do. Second step, you need to put safety filters, monitoring tools on your children's devices. There are a lot of free ones. Go to protectyoungeyes.com, read all about it. Go to Paving the Way and learn all about uh, sample discussions you can have with your kids, different uh, tactics used by predators, what the kids are looking at, different apps. Education is the first step. Raising awareness is the, and you know, we always say this, but it's true. Knowledge is power. And parents, grandparents, trusted adults, teachers, we need to come together and meet the kids where they are. We need to talk to them. Truly, we need to communicate and open the discussions because I guarantee you the predators are right there, wherever the kids are. Any feature that has a chat feature, any of these online, the predators are right there. Do you know what your children are doing online? Because I guarantee you the predators do. So coming home, having a very successful trip, introducing, finally being able to get out into society. This is something human trafficking and sexual exploitation you must do in person is my belief. Sure, Zooms are great. That's all we've had in the last year plus, but it's the human touch. It is that survivor voice also that resonates and makes the difference. So Lynn's Warriors is going to be opening up. We are going to be traveling around the country. We are going to be explaining all this and providing easy resources, but you must understand and then what you must do is go to lynnswarriors.org and find out more, how you can participate, take action. Because I guarantee you, with studies coming out showing what has been going on in the last 
I'll say about two years, this escalation, this crime, and there's no stopping in front of us, we have to take control. Remember, you can always write to house.gov and senate.gov. Find out who represents you and drop in a short note. What are you doing about this child sexual abuse material online in our community? What are you doing about the Earn It Act? Remember, we're gearing up again in Congress. We need big tech accountability. Why everybody's shouting about censorship. Who is helping our children? Why is there no censorship, censorship for children? Under 18, anything sexual should be a crime automatically. So again, it's up to us. Follow me always. Join lynnswarriors.org, find out more, and find out how you can become a warrior in your own home and community.